Hello, good evening, YouTubers. This is Sam Fidel speaking. Welcome back to my channel, Loud Tube. And allow me today to introduce this a beautiful piece of engineering stereo receiver Tandberg or Tandberg as they announce, uh, they say it domestically in Norway because it's made in Norway. FM stereo receiver TR1040. Now, as a beginning, we all love Japanese stereo receivers and we all love Japanese amplifiers. And why we see the Japanese as a standard? Because there are so many in the market. So we used to the way how the circuitry designed and how, the, how you deal with the tone and the volume and you connect the speakers. We used to that because there are so many in the market. But sometimes there are many models such as this one comes out of the box, doesn't share so much with Japanese principle of engineering or circuitry or designing or even how to use it. This one is a really separated concept in terms of everything from build quality, from separated triple controller from each channel you have separated you see there is channel A and there is a channel B triple base the same you can see or from the adjustable input sensitivity you can adjust the phono you can adjust the tape and you can adjust the tape too so you can connect two tapes you adjust their sensitivity also the build quality build quality is exceptional if you look here this is a real wood it's not a sticker this is not sticker you see the variety of materials here from real knobs full aluminium okay if you look here it's full metal it's not a plastic and don't worry about the grounding don't worry about the grounding because the grounding in, in this thing is so good okay something else uh, in terms of circuitry design now I'm not a professional electrician or uh, uh, electronics repair uh, repair or technician no, but uh, I search and I really done some researches about the circuitry design because you know when you listen to this stereo receiver, you will feel a difference, a difference in a sound characters. There is difference and it's obvious. That's why I done my research online and I found out the circuit here designed in a different way, a new way which I really have no good idea about the meaning, but there is no capacitors after the transformer for filtration. I don't know, maybe they need the signal goes raw as it is. And which explains the similarity of the vacuum, a good vacuum tube with this one. So this amplifier or stereo receiver will give you a character of a vacuum tube sound. Warm, clear, deep, creamy, and crisp. I connected my stereo receiver as it's still new. I just bought it uh, from my friend and uh, I connected to these a beautiful pair of speakers, LTAX Terminator. And I really like the design of this one. This, these speakers, they have a real engineering principle behind the, the build. Okay, as you see, they focus on the mid area. So they left the upper area, the high frequency as a Twitter and the lower lower end of frequency subwoofer 
and then they concern about the middle between the top end and low end so this is the high end and this is the low end but what between they put two mid-range and two low mid-range so you have two low mid-range and two high mid-range and you have Twitter and subwoofer now as a result I hear beautiful a beautiful instrumental and rich in all volumes there are some amplifiers when you play in low volume you will not be satisfied because you will miss many details in the music but this thing never happened here here in even low volumes you will still get a rich and crisp deep and really rich sound I will make around about this one it's it's not cheap mid, made in mid 70s and uh, in my opinion I see the Stenberg one of the best 70s stereo receivers ever I tried a lot but no one does sound like this one this exactly has the character of high-end amplifiers you know the high-end amplifiers what do you expect from 30,000 US dollar amplifier you will have more here okay so we connected my laptop as AOX sensitivity from tape 1 tape 1 maximum okay and this is a Creative Commons license as you see Creative Commons license okay we will try the music here Level four. This is 40 watts per channel and the sound is really warm
now as we turn turn up the amplifier I want to review the back the underneath panel see it's it's metal and here you have the switches for sensitivity this doesn't see it in the Japanese amplifiers you see phono max minimum and tape one tape two you can adjust the sensitivity the input sensitivity here and also these connections I fit this one to use my turntable sensory here okay uh, I see uh, this type of connection because it comes under it's it's a little bit annoying but uh, no problem uh, at the end you can connect it speaker connections the old way and this one is uh, a little bit uh, weird even in the, the bridge connection from inside is different even than the Japanese amplifiers you see how you connect speakers A in inside and B out okay here all the inputs tape for recording and play and also phono you have in the original in the original case you have a hole here so I fit the screw with this wire okay nothing much to speak here but I mean they make it separate for the heat sink this is actually work as a grill and also you have these ventilation holes okay you have a huge transformer and also in the same in the same path as we are speaking <coughs> this unit comes out of the box and there is uh, not much to share with the Japanese uh, style amplifiers you cannot see any loudness put in here there is no loudness but you have a, satisf a, a, a satisfied base and also you can individually control the base for each channel as you see you have channel A and channel B B A for treble and for bass okay radio it has a good radio clear unfortunately bulbs are uh, want out okay as you see it's working now let's summarize our review to the stereo receiver Tandberg TR1040 if you are from who those people like to play music not loud little volume with rich deep and detailed sound crisp creamy and shining vocal stage shining vocal stage you feel the sound like layers many details and low volume you run and you grab this one I, I've been using this piece of uh, engineering as it's different and you know European many so much difference between the Japanese ones I don't like uh, to say I am not a fan of Japanese amplifiers don't get me wrong I'm big fan of Japanese amplifiers but always everyone likes the new ideas and everyone likes thinking out of the box so if you are one of these people who like to play music low and rich with details and sound warm similar to vacuum tube sounding you go for TR1040 regarding the circuitry they ignore the capacitors after the, um, the, the transformer as I review this is the only model they done the circuitry type with it so models comes after they return to the normal procedure and models earlier also the same design of circuitry capacitors and transformer I think this is the only one 
comes with this weird, weird circuitry and astonishing sound. Really, hands on heart when you play acoustics or instrumental and TR 1040 Tanberg stereo receiver. My best regards to you. I want to thank you for attending my review. See you next time. I got many, a lot of gear pieces here and preparing to review them. So it's my pleasure to join me next episodes. Sam Fidel speaking. Thank you so much. See you next time.